artist. Today we are going to be making some artwork while we think about things that we are grateful for or things that we're thankful for, which means things in our life that we really appreciate. One example would be that I I'm really grateful for my family and the way that they love and support me. What are you grateful for? We are going to be using our hands, some paper, and a weaving technique to create some gratitude hands that we can look at this holiday season and remember the things that we are grateful for. Let's get started. For this project, you will need two different colored pieces of paper. All right, once you have your paper, the first thing that you are going to do is you are going, or you're gonna have somebody help you, trace your hand. Now, when we're tracing our hand on our paper, it's really important to get all of our fingers, but something that I'm going to do to make it easier on myself when it's time to weave is I am going to extend my fingers a little bit longer than they actually are in real life. So when you trace your hand, it's really important to make sure that your pencil or whatever you're tracing with is up and down. If it's to the side, either way, it's going to make your hand bigger or smaller than it actually is in real life. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it up and down and I'm going to extend my finger just a little bit longer than it is in real life. And I'm going to try to keep the amount that I extended about the same for each of my fingers. Here's my hand with my extra long fingers. It looks a little silly, but it'll make sense once we start weaving. All right, now you can go ahead and trace your other hand. Now here's where you might need a little bit of help. For this one, we are going to trace our other hand. So maybe you traced your left hand, now you're gonna trace your right hand. It's okay to ask for help if you need help tracing your other hand. turned out a little wonky because I'm not used to tracing with my left hand and that's okay because once I cut it out I can just flip it over and use the other side. All right so once your hands are traced you're gonna go ahead and cut them out. Now that we have both of our hands cut out, we are going to go ahead and weave them together. So, take your two hands and put them together using that little space in between your thumb and your hand. It should look a little something like this. All right, now that these are together, you may notice that there's areas for the fingers to overlap. This is where we're going to weave. So I am going to start out by weaving my pinky finger because it's pretty easy. It's almost already done for me anyway. So it's going over and then under. 
Now, when you weave, you need to make sure that the one next to it is the opposite. So I'm actually looking at this and I'm thinking that my pinky should go underneath the finger. I'm realizing that because this finger, it makes sense for it to start over this finger. So this finger is going to go over, then under, then over again. See how the fingers are starting to overlap? Now for this finger, because it starts kind of on this middle finger instead of the index finger, it's going to go over, under, and then over again. Now, sometimes this takes a little bit of, of trial and error to make it work. You might want to ask an adult to help. Let's get that moving a little bit. All right, do you see how the fingers are weaving together? Now for our last one, it's gonna go over this middle one and then under the last pinky. So let's see if we can get that in there. All right. Can you tell how it looks like the hands are woven together? Awesome. Now you can tack this down with glue to make it more secure. And to do that, you would just lift up every finger and put a little dot of glue to make it a little more secure. Once your hands are together, remember we're thinking about things that we are grateful for. We're thinking about things that are special in our lives and things that we are really thankful for. So thinking about those things, you can write what those things are on the fingers that are intertwined. All right, and I'm gonna use all different colors to write the things that I'm thankful for. You can also decorate your hands however you'd like.